this all set up your home office today uh the next item we have is our embassy 10 sheet uh, uh micro cut paper shredder um everybody here at hsn has one of these we sell them in a bunch of different sizes 8 10 12 i like the 10 because it's the perfect size right in the middle it doesn't take up a lot of room uh, but it'll shred everything just like the larger units and the smaller units will do uh it, it, it'll take care of credit cards uh you know small staples or paper clips stuff like it. it'll just trash them and it all goes in the little bin that's inside our holiday price is 99.95 I love that uh, the new ones have the see-through bin too, which is great so you can see when it's getting full and you need to remove it and empty it. It's a great way to recycle. But for me, for my money, Bill, it's, it's and Bill Duggan's here, everybody. What I love about it is it helps me get organized because I get rid of all that crappy, right? Mail I don't need around the holidays, okay. all the stuff I don't want. We're gonna put up a statement really quick and then Bill yeah. will tell you all the features that I want you to take a look at. Because if you are concerned about identity theft, I mean, One of the most important things you can do is shred old documents. That's just it. And here it is. We'll read this to you. It says there are many steps consumers can take to minimize their risk of being an identity theft victim. For example, consumers should close, closely guard their social security number and shred, there's the big word, shred credit card receipts, copies of credit applications, and other sensitive documents. This is just a little way to make sure that people aren't stealing your stuff. And if you think people don't go out and look through your garbage, I hate to say it, but you are wrong. Uh, there are professional people that do that. I mean, and, and bad people that do that. There are some good people that sit out, they look to the curb for recyclables and things like that, or throwing away an old lawnmower and they'll, they'll fix it up. They're fine. It's the people that are going to sit there and try to steal your identity. This makes it virtually impossible. Anything that goes in there, you'll never see again. And that's just it. You want to make it harder for them to get your identity. And the thing is, it's gotten easier because our identity is on more bits and pieces of information, of junk mail. When we started selling Embassy here four years ago, the statistic was one in ten people become victims of identity theft. It's actually gone up to one in seven. It's more prevalent than ever. And what we pride ourselves on with Embassy, all of our Embassy shredders here over a quarter of a million have become customer picks they put them on casters so we can roll it around from room to room large peekaboo window so you see when it's full you don't have to take off the lid anymore you pull out the bin so it's clean dust free but more importantly what you're getting is this this is that micro cut technology you cannot piece this together you cannot identify what was your paycheck stub what is prescription information insurance a credit card or anything and the harder you make it, the less apt you are likely to become that identity theft victim. Because when you think of shredding, you think of, you know, that strip shred technology, that 30 shreds per page from the 70s. What piece of, of technology from the 70s do you trust your identity with, let alone your social security numbers, your credit score? And look at that, one piece of shred, that is someone's identity, someone's personal information. So a lot of us upgraded from this down to cross-cutting. Cross-cutting was definitely a better option because it was a little smaller, but you know what? They figured this out as well. I mean, you can see the difference right here. It's definitely smaller, but at the end of the day, you want the best thing out there, and I'm gonna show you what you're getting tonight. Look at this, so small, so fine, and I'm gonna show you this comparison look at that oh sorry i'm cutting into your shot guys but look, tip yeah, look at your the finger and the thing is it's harder to put together so they can't piece it together and the thing what we also appreciate it's not just one page it's not just two pages it's 10 sheets 10 sheets shipped to you for free this one's not a customer pick yet because we're launching it today for the first time we're giving you this great model with extra features because at the end of the day you want to have your identity be protected your kids your coworkers, your customers, and you see what happens, it keeps up with the demand. So all of a sudden, shredding is not a chore. Shredding is not a hassle. And more importantly, instead of doing this, look at that one piece of paper. It takes up so much space versus all the pages we have destroyed. And let me actually show you this example. I mean, we're gonna destroy this, but let's... Have you ever known how you had to remove the staples? Not with this one. It goes through the staples, the that. credit cards, the DVDs, and more importantly, at the end of the day, you're protected. We're also giving you software titles. So not only getting the shredder today at the affordable price, free shipping and all that, give you four full titles to protect yourself. Um, this is a way to protect your identity actually on Facebook. It's hacker proof, which is great. Uh, auto safe essentials, a way to back up your information. Track off, a way to uh, secure your computer as well. And then LoJack. Six months, so you, if your computer ever gets stolen or lost, if you're getting that tape today special, you want to protect it, six months on LoJack to protect your computer. Lubricant sheets and even liners. Actually, I'd like to show everyone the liners real quick. Yeah, yeah, We can ahead. come down to the black the shredder right down. Actually, we haven't even showed you the colors. So, 
Black you can almost find it everywhere, but not this nice shiny black. Hot race car red. You gotta love that red. That's the best. Silver. Yep. A Merlot, which is nice and sharp. Why are these colors important? I got purple up here and you got blue. If yep. you wanna leave it out, you, you leave it out, you're gonna use it. But what we've done with the embassy is you're also getting a lubricant sheet and a liner. Why is this important? You see how this, this is um, all lined and it's getting full? So I pull out my, my waist bin right here. It comes with a liner so you can actually line the bag. It actually comes with hooks on the inside so there's a place to actually secure it down so the bag doesn't get out of place. Yep. You could actually use other bags too, but what you're gonna notice at the end of the day, I take this to the trash, my bin is clean, I can line it again and put it right back to use, but more importantly, did you see how easy that cleanup is? And when I throw this away, I'm not throwing away my identity or you know pertinent, pertinent information, it's, it's foolproof, people cannot. Yeah. Put it together. No, and I and I love the fact that you're also uh, uh, contributing to, to recycling, which right. is great, and it compacts that mess down. <clears throat> you know, a bag of stuff this big that condenses down to about this size, so it really is. It's a great way to be able to do your recycling or even uh, packing materials. You use it as packing stuff right. when you're sending gifts to your friends and family. Listen, you know, I know you don't have to do this, but I, it's one of the best things I ever bought in, in electronics. You know, and when I first got it, I was like, "Am I going to really use a shredder?" Mm -hmm. I use it every single day. Right. When when I get chunk mail, here's what I do. And don't, eat. I'm gonna give you a tip. Keep it out where you can, where you can access it. Yep. Because what I do is I have a routine. I do my work, right? Finish my work here. I go home, I stop for coffee, I go home. And uh, I, I, whatever mail comes to my house, which gets around 11.30, right. I immediately shred what I'm not even gonna open. Because there's a lot of stuff in there and it's coupon stuff. And I, I don't need a lot of that stuff. I know when they're, an insurance company is making me an offer because I know exactly what the label looks like. I don't need to open that up. But here's what it does. It prevents me from having piles of paper. Exactly. And I know that's a blockade for a lot of people. They'll see piles. I've gone over to friends' houses. I'm like, I see mail that hasn't been open for a week. And it's mm -hmm. like, I just can't get to it. I can't get to it. Because you don't have a system. This gives you a system. You put the stuff in and it could be, you know, it could be anything. Like we said, it could be stacks of paper and you don't even have to put it in straight away. You can put it in on an angle. Doesn't matter. It eats it up. When you look at the teeth that are inside here, in fact, I'll open this up when it stops and I'll show you. <laughs> it's the nastiest thing. This is like the stuff on a smaller version that they mash up cars with. <laughs> I'm telling you that it's, this is not light. In fact, when I drop it, it's pretty heavy, um, but it has to be because it has to, those, those things have to go through metal. Mm -hmm. So you want that. It also is on caster wheels. We don't all sell all of them on wheels. Why is that a good thing? Because you live in a small house, you want to move it. Maybe you just bring it out into the kitchen to get rid of your stuff and then you want to roll it back over. Right. Or you want to put it underneath a cabinet and you want to pull it out and, and under your desk. Mm -hmm. It's ideal for that. But here's what I'll tell you. We, this is a brand new version of it because it's got the little hooks inside for the bags. Right. I like the idea with the bags. B before we never used them, so easy. Pull the bag up, twisty tie, put it in recycle. And that's just it, it feels so good to just be able to throw away the, the yeah. stuff that you've been holding on to that you don't necessarily need. You know, after a few years, you can get rid of those tax documents, but you can't just throw them away because you know, bank account numbers are still the same, your social security right. number is still the same. And normally you have to count out the number of pages, remove the staples. Not with this, just go through your files, feed it and just get rid of that clutter. And it feels good. It feels good to have that latest in technology. Not this strip shred, but micro cut yeah. technology. And look at this stuff. When you take this stuff out, try not to make too much of a mess, but look at my hands. I mean, there's nothing, you're, you're never gonna be able to read this stuff. Yeah, what? Nobody would have the time or the patience. The strips they might do, you saw that famous movie where the, the kids were working on the strips right. and trying to capture uh, you know, images of people. You never have to worry about that again. This stuff is all just becomes packing material. Mm -hmm. It becomes stuff you can recycle. I always feel like I'm doing the planet a favor too when I have one of these Actually, things. you are you because know? you can recycle it and throw it away with these. So I wanna show you, I was talking about the smaller footprint that it has. So right over here. Our canisters, this is five pages of strip shed. It's overflowing, it takes up space. The pink, that is five pages of cross cut, which you might already have, but micro cut, it's even that. a fraction of that. So cool. So it fills up the bin less, it fills up your garbage can less, but more importantly, those pieces are so small, they can't piece them together. And look at this great example. Remember, this ships to you for free because of the meat and the muscle, it's worth that extra value. But we all got new credit cards, right? We try to destroy them and bend them and cut them up real fast. Look at this micro cut. You can't tell me if that's American Express, Visa, MasterCard, and the harder you make it for someone to identify your 
your identity or what that was, the harder it is for them to piece together. Because at the end of the day, that micro cut is smaller than a dime. Because when you think about the shredder that you already have, either at work or in your home office, it's bigger. It's going to be dated technology. Because we're all used to this strip shred. This strip shred, they figured out. They know yeah. how to piece it together. And you're like, oh, really? Are they going to go to that effort? Yes, because they much rather shop. If they can, if they can with make three or $4,000, they'll, they'll, they'll spend a couple of hours. That's on just it. it. <laughs> and it's as simple as piecing it together. <clears throat> and even with that cross cut, which you might already own, they're going to piece it together because your credit is more valuable to them than you. And that's just it. Protect your identity. This is what you get tonight that micro cut. So it's a great upgrade. You're going to see why all our embassies here become customer picks because at the end of the day, it does what it's supposed to do. Yeah. It doesn't slow down. This it doesn't a, jam. Yeah. It shreds and protects. This is our brand new latest model. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're looking to protect your identity, especially during the holiday season, when you are getting a lot more credit card receipts, right? Uh, even the little receipts, the paper receipts that you get when you shop, bring them home and shred them. Once you've recorded them, you know, if you bought a printer with us, you can scan them, right? Much better to have them scanned than laying around. Uh, credit cards, old credit cards, this chops them up so you'll never even know what the heck they are. Mm -hmm. But anything in your life that you want to keep private, you need to put in there. Uh, we've got three minutes left. Um, think about what you should shred. Um, well, bank statements. You know what I use it for too, is especially like um, um, prescriptions and things like yep. that. Uh, Cause you don't, you don't want anybody to know what you're taking. It's none of their business like, but credit card offers, credit applications. I always say receipts, uh, receipts and bills. Um, expired credit cards are really important because sometimes your expired credit card uh, keeps the same number, right? Mm -hmm. So just a different date. Um, and as we said, it's one of the many ways that the FTC recommends that you shred stuff it is with a shredder uh, or that you shred stuff. Um, and, and look at what else they got their insurance forms physician statements right anything that's got personal information on you your boarding pass everything has really your good identity idea. on it and you just want to make sure it is gone and gone for good where they can't piece it back together where this purchase does what it's supposed to do and remember not only getting the shredder we're giving you those software titles so we've gone through how many different documents and pages and this is what happens you can't piece it together. But if you're that lazy, one lazy piece, and all of a sudden what happens, this ends up in your neighbor's yard, because maybe your garbage can just gets knocked over by the wind or a raccoon or whatever. Mm -hmm. And what is it? It's your tax documents. It's that pre-filled out application, you know, for that credit card or those convenience checks. When they come in the door, shred it. And that's why we put it in fashion colors. We want you to leave it out. We want your sons and daughters to use it, whether it's a small apartment or a dorm room. And as Guy said, it's the 10 sheet. It's the perfect size, does not take up a lot of space yeah but at the end of the day it performs like it is supposed to and that's really where you pat yourself on the back because you're proud with this purchase because that's what embassy does they're all customer picks so you can't go wrong with this one and realize most of our embassy shredders by the way they're not under a hundred dollars so you're getting this for under a hundred bucks and you're getting the software title look at that and doesn't feel good to get rid of the clutter everything Inside. By the way, it automatically shuts off too if you ever lift that off because you, you don't want your hands to get near the gears. So you've got that safety thing built in. It'll also reverse. Uh, if anything does get jammed in there, if you've got something in there that's an industrial clip of some sort, or you know, it could be uh, there's a lot of different metal pieces mm -hmm. that are in folders and things like that sometimes. If it gets stuck, because it, 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 it'll it automatically shuts itself off and then it will reverse, it comes out. So they even thought of that. You get the lubricating sheets. This one's different because it has the hooks inside to hold the bag. Um, you still have the see through bin. What's the capacity on this one, Bill? So a 3.6 oh, gallon is, okay. bin. So this is three and a half gallons. You will probably, uh, <clears throat> I would say, conservatively empty this probably every few days. I, Maybe every once a week. It depends I, how much you shred. I can't believe how much I shred. I love the fact that I empty it three times a week because I'm like, wow, I'm getting rid of a lot of crap. And the thing is, <laughs> when you're getting rid of it, it does feel good. Yeah. I find myself, I don't empty mine nearly often enough because I, it's such a small footprint, so it's great. But once you know you put it in here, that you know that it's taken care of. It's gone. Yeah. And, and again, look at the end of the day. You've, got, you've done one more thing to protect you and your family because exactly. once you get your identity stolen, I will tell you, welcome to, to, to you know what for the yeah. next two or three years. years. It is exactly. not fun. Bill, no. nice job. When are Thank you coming you. back? Uh, tomorrow afternoon, but not with this. This All is right, the one show of the day. It's like a sawmill in here. It's, yeah. it, it feels like that. <laughs>